Hey guys, congratulations on the series, first of all. Yes. Like, and I was telling you guys off camera, like how is this whole cast just so damn fun? First of all, you know, and he was like, wait, tell me more, wait, no, no, stop it, tell me more. <laughs> he got his Instagram story out, he started filming it. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, set the cameras up, tripod, okay, we good. <laughs> so, I, you know, this, this series is kind of serious, but I wanna have a little fun with it in the beginning yes. of this interview. What's the most ruthless thing you guys have ever did in your life? Oh, oh, I need to know, okay? <laughs> in your personal lives. Oh. Uh -huh. Let's start with the ladies. <laughs> ladies first. I'm a gentleman. Of course, all the dirty laundry. Yeah. When I was a baby, yeah. I pooped in a popcorn can. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Ah. When I was a baby, it was ruthless. That's ruthless. <laughs> That's ruthless. 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 And you just put it back in the pantry? Yep. No, I just left it right there. <laughs> my brother would have told everybody. Oh, my gosh. Ooh. That's ruthless. That's ruthless. That's very okay. ruthless. That's why I'm like, I just don't know what to stop that. You at the top of the top. So you knew what you were doing. You was being bad. I think you asked that question. I haven't pooped anywhere extra. So I think you win. Yeah, okay. You win with that. What about you, Blue? Yeah. That's ruthless. Still thinking about it, huh? I was a young boy. I was like 14. I was um, making out with my girlfriend at the time in church. Ooh, now that's oh. ruthless. Oh, oh. <laughs> People on camera are like, Ooh. God forgive him for his sins. God bless me, God protect me. How could I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> God you. gave me the girlfriend. Okay. There, he put her in your life for he that to happen. For that reason. For that reason. Mm -hmm. in church. I learned. <laughs> is that what it is? I learned a lot. There you go. Well, the ladies ain't that ruthless, right? Girl, I'm ladies like, are I, ladies. I don't, can't, I don't, I try not to be. I know. That's I feel, I feel so innocent right now. They don't want to, they don't want to say Let's see. Oh, Let's see. Because, yeah. you know, yeah, we're just ladies. That's I don't right. know. No, you know what the ladies do? You know what we do? We'll be, we, we'll, you know, doodle text us. You know, you know we act like we're sleeping. <laughs> Sleep. I didn't see your message. Yes, you <laughs> the curve game is on ruthless. Yeah, curve game on ruthless. Yeah, there we go. That about right. Exactly. So you just gonna ignore me yeah. because you said that I'm just gonna ignore you again. <laughs> Sounds like you're free ruthless. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's get into the film. So this series is a spinoff of The Oval. So for those that haven't seen that series, what can we expect from Ruthless? Yeah. Get in there. Let's get into it. Well, um, yes. Yeah, so it's a spinoff from the Oval, show, uh, following Ruth, my character, as she kidnaps her daughter and mm -hmm. takes her to this underground fanatical cult, mm -hmm. um, which happens to be called the Rockadouches. And Matt Sedano, my cast Rockadouches. Rockadouches. <laughs> uh, he is the highest. He plays the leader of it. So basically, yeah, yeah. Ruth is just trying to find redemption because. She feels like the world has deemed her as a bad person based mm -hmm. on her past, based on the fact that she doesn't have full custody of her daughter for things that she went through. Uh, she's trying to be her best self and then finds out that maybe that's something you can do on your own. Not rely <laughs> yeah. on the community of people to do that. Oh, yeah. you were living yeah. your best the wrong life. community. That's she goes up with the wrong community. In yeah. the cult, the cult was living your best I, life. I, yeah. yeah. It's very persuasive, for sure. She was living her best <laughs> life. She said, it's a fun up in that world. They send, they send these men, OK? Of course we signed up for yeah, this. Yeah, I would sign up, too. Where would I sign up for? Where is the sign up to, OK? That's a horrible role. How could something so wrong be so right? Okay. Yeah, say yeah it wrong like, thing. you got me two fine-ass right. men. Like, come on now. We fine, two ladies. Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, sign I'm, I'm signing up. We got up. a purple robe in your side. <laughs> oh. I'm ready, okay? Get me fitted, okay? <laughs> the hem in on, I'm a little short. Um, <laughs> you got your so, side. <laughs> you said Ruth, what, in the, the character, was trying to be her best self. What do you think it takes someone to be their best self? Ooh, I definitely <laughs> think that was that girl. Okay. okay. Um, you know the school friends? <laughs> <laughs> Congrats, girl. That's what's up. Um, I think that what it takes for me personally to become my best self uh, is pure determination and faith in yourself mm -hmm. and what you bring to the table. Um, 
all that. Everybody has their own story. Right. And that's what I love about about God is he gives everybody their own testimony. Absolutely. Now, it may not be good to you because in the moment, the circumstance is making you think that way. But later on down the line, I have found that everything that I've been through has been purposely put up in my life for a reason, whether Absolutely. it was a blessing or a lesson. So I think to become your best self, you just have to know that, hey, I was put on this earth for a reason, mm -hmm. and now I'm gonna focus and literally hone in on whatever it is that my gift is and put that out there for the world to 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 share. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, she came through with that answer. I didn't mean, it was yeah. off the cuff, but okay. I was trying to keep up with you, girl. She was ready. Okay. Ready for that. <laughs> 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 well, you know, it's, it's funny that you actually said that because Snoop Dogg just came out and talked about how he faced a lot of failures in life, especially being in your guys' industry, too. How have you guys dealt with that struggle and that failures? There's, you know, a lot of actors. It's tough. It's not easy. Uh, it's not I easy. think it no. has a lot of oh, sorry. Alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he hits the bar oh, every yeah, night. Give me some whiskey on the rocks. Affirmations have been my go-to. Uh, this lady right here actually really helped me with that. We worked together on the Oval, oh, and okay. she was speaking that she would be a series regular, and show enough, wow. here she is. And I, uh, I have affirmations too that I put on the wall. So I really feel like speaking it, it allows you to actually accept it when it comes. Because sometimes we're in a place where we're not feeling worthy of mm -hmm. the good yeah. that we're receiving, and mm -hmm. so we won't receive it. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it's very important to remember that you're worthy. Yeah. And the good that's supposed to come to you, you're worthy of that good. Right, right. What about you, Blue? What do you think? Self-awareness. Like mm -hmm. she said, I mean, everything, it all boils down to self-awareness. You have to know who you are. Right. Before you can excel in anything, or put your energy, your light, your positivity on someone else, you have to accept that is inside of you. Mm -hmm. You know, before you try to heal someone else, you have to find a self heal. Absolutely. And speaking in this industry and what we do, acting, everybody just sees the glitz, the glam, the cast up here looking nice, like you said. Mm -hmm. But this is hard work. Oh, yeah. That's 10 years of hard work. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, just let it be it's out. Definitely. 20 years definitely. of foundation being laid before you get to see the glam, the ice, the glitz, the tip of the iceberg, the shining on TV, and the fun interviews. Mm -hmm. This is the fun part. Yeah. <laughs> you don't see the struggle. Yeah, there's a lot of hard, hard work part. behind you it. You don't see the dedication, the hard work. You're just looking on social media and TV. I want to do it with Blue and Melissa. Mm -hmm. and I can do that. I can do that. I'm like can you? Can you? <laughs> I got good hair. I want to be on TV. I got white eyes. Yeah. I'm fine, too. I'm Hispanic. Yeah. Why well, can't be on TV? Everybody, yeah. everybody wants instant results right. now. Mm -hmm. Because of you know the society and where we at, Instagramming, mm -hmm. you know, just to use that as consistency is key. Instant. Absolutely, instant, 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 anything consistent, mm -hmm. just maintain hard mm -hmm. work, dedication. We've put in time to, like she said, everything happens for a reason and has led to this ultimate culmination Absolutely. of what is present now, and we're grateful That's for right. it. That's right. But she was prepared. For it. We are prepared for this. Speaking about preparing, there's a lot of preparation that goes into building a character and before going on scene. So the characters that you guys play are very powerful and super intense. Do you think playing those characters instilled something in you or changed something within you, within your personal life and that you carried with you? Definitely, Get em. yeah, Get em. for sure. Get em. <laughs> We're just talking about my character and I love the complexity that Tyler Perry rights with when it comes to women. Mm -hmm. And he knows, I think, uh, what he says all the time is that he saw his mom, he saw the women that she was around, and he saw what they went through, the yeah. challenges with men and with their lives and raising children. I feel like that's what he allows us to do on screen. And you can't leave a set like that, going through all of that in that amount of time, this beautiful arc that he writes for us. Oh, you right. can't go through that and go through all those obstacles without leaving feeling empowered, mm -hmm. feeling mm -hmm. like, Oh, maybe I, <laughs> because it's the way he writes. Yeah. So we know the viewers will get that, but even us in the roles, we felt that, I felt that too, leaving, I felt empowered when I left. Wow, him, so. wow. Nice. It's just the whole boot camp that he essentially yeah. puts you through. He, he what was that like? Role. And it's undescribable. Intense? You kind of heard about what it was going to be like before you entered into mm -hmm. it, and then you don't really believe it until you let it. It. <laughs> <laughs> it's something else, like he literally, I think that he's got something special in knowing what the human 
potential is, right. and he can yeah. assess that in everybody, and then he elevates you to that level, yeah. whether you like it or not. <laughs> and then you kind of look back and say, I just did that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. wow. That's true. Yeah. I just did yeah. that, and you yeah. can't help but grow from it. Yeah. And appreciate the man for giving you that opportunity. And the lessons learned, right? Oh, yeah. So yeah. Yeah. That taps into, like you said, his creative genius as well, the yeah. whole casting process. Yeah. Like the way that he films, his productions are like no other. It, like you said, it's an mm -hmm. acting boot camp. So mm -hmm. they select actors that they know that can handle it. Mm -hmm. Because if you can't, it will break you down. Oh, I bet. And Tyler doesn't play. Mr. Perry doesn't play. <laughs> no games. You're not on his good side. <laughs> you don't know it. And right. if you can't handle it, it yeah, he, he'll have you feeling like I am supposed to be. Yeah, I don't want to go back to work tomorrow. I quit. <laughs> yeah, I see you know, one day. In one day. Yeah. Sixty so pages in one day. Well, any project that I've done. Yeah. In one hour, you're doing four to six, maybe seven. Right. You're super ambitious eight pages Single in a day. Digits. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But he can do eighty to a hundred in a day. Wow. And my character's name was on sixty of them. <laughs> and I came to him out after one scene, I was just like, I Tyler. I, <laughs> I, I think I need a moment. <laughs> right. Like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> You can do this. Oh, yeah. That's hard. Yeah. That's hard. Let's break for lunch, everybody. Oh, I remember that. I remember that. Uh -huh. right? that. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. I got, got comfortable for this story. That yeah. No, wow. That's him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He is so on another level of, like I said, his creativity and his thinking and just in person. Mm -hmm. And he spoke that into all of us. Mm -hmm. And that's what he does to everybody. He yeah. wants to show that the ceiling that you have for yes. yourself yeah. is non-existent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whatever you're mm -hmm. doing, you can do more. Mm -hmm. Push yourself more. Think more. Yeah. Elevate more. Like we were saying, it's all in your all in your mind. Yeah. You know, like if him, you believe it, yeah. it's gonna happen. Like him doing what he's done with the studio. Yeah. Like, there are many Limitless. other people who Limitless. have the financial means and the influence who could have done what he's done. Absolutely. But they haven't because they just didn't have the mentality to mm -hmm. think that they could or it was possible. Yeah. And that's what he said he wants to know, that anything that you think and see is possible. Yeah. Think more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dream bigger. Yeah. Or, and also build it yourself. That's, that was, it's one of his big know. things. He's like, I, I believe in myself, so I will build it. Wow. Right. And, and that's what he's done with his plays. Now we've gone to TV. And now, you know. He's got his whole deal with BT Plus. Yeah. He's winning. Yeah. It's just, it's never ending because in his mind, you know, yeah, that yeah. power is in his mind. Absolutely. So. What's something that he instilled in your mind? I know a lot of people are probably really, they really want to know like his gems that he's dropping and then people on the outside don't hear. What's something you can share that he dropped that you're like, wow, that is so powerful. I know he came up to you and said, you can do this, but I want to know how you guys feel or what you guys have to say. Like, like I just told you, just mm -hmm. the self-motivation. Because mm -hmm. like I said, he is a creative genius. You know that already before you get around him, but then when you're in his presence, to mm -hmm. be up close and personal with him, you take every word that he says for granted to the 10th power because he's led by example. Right. He knows what it takes and knows what we're capable of, and he preaches that into us. He wants everybody to do more. Yeah, and he's a man of very few words, so I think that's something you might be seeing in us. Is it's not necessarily that he's verbally dropping gems. I think <clears throat> what he said makes the most sense. You see him, you see him in charge of so many people uh, and creating this out of his own mind. And I think just the example of who he is is a gem that he yeah. found for me. Uh, wow. Just, yeah. You walk into the experience and it's profound. Like he kicks off the day before the sun's even up. Mm -hmm. It was like 20 degrees outside. Oh no, thank you. And he has <laughs> cast and crew yeah. hand in hand in prayer. Wow. He, he shows his appreciation. I love that. His acknowledgments of how fortunate he is to be there. Mm -hmm. And how he's created this, and now he's all giving it all back. Wow. Yes. Yeah. And it's, you're just like, you're in awe. I was choked up the first day. I was <laughs> and he's out here. Like, yeah. yeah. And he's leading the whole crew from the break of dawn until 
night until everybody That's goes amazing. home and just leads by example. He knows what he knows what thing you can do, but yeah. he's also yeah. doing it himself. Right? Yeah. Well, there's he's a lot of time that goes into it. Yeah. I'm telling you to go for it. He's with them doing it. So, yeah, he's not just, you know, up top, just saying, hey, do this, do that. He's right there with you guys. That's awesome. I do have something I want to share with yeah. what he said, because it was, it, he is like this with all, anybody that, it doesn't even have to be actors, but people that come around him, um, uh, it's an energy thing. I think Matt was speaking on that. Like, I feel like he moves with his spirit. Wow, and yeah. he did say something to a huge group of people when, at the grand opening. Um, everybody that was there, he just was like, guys, I want you to know the reason I'm doing this is to let you know that you belong here. Oh, so it was yeah. just like, he, he's always, he makes people feel special and recognizes them for their individual gifts, whatever it is. It could be the receptionist, but literally he recognizes everybody for their individual gifts and appreciates them for that. So yeah. I just wanted to leave. No, that's, that's very powerful. And I think, you know, coming from his humble beginnings as well, just that and his process and his hard work and his dedication, his consistency. And then to share that is very, very powerful because a lot of people don't go through a lot of struggle before they get to where they're at. So having that is very, very powerful because that means he treats everybody with respect. It doesn't matter, yes. you know, who it is. Like you said, the receptionist, it's very, very important because you don't know, the receptionist one day might be the CEO of listen, you who knows what. Listen, that is true. Yeah. The, listen, I'll tell you this for example. Um, I may be giving too much information, but <laughs> a, a casting director- You're amongst family. A casting yes. director, um, she's an actress, right? Right. At Tyler Perry Studios. <laughs> she, decided, okay, I think I'm going to get back, you know, into acting and her and I are close. So, uh -huh. you know, um, she's like, I think I'm going to get back to, into acting. And I'm like, girl, do it. Yeah. You know, just do it. She is the casting director, mind you. Okay. She has an audition opportunity. It's, um, you know, for, she submitted like everybody else, did the audition, got a call back. It happens to be in front of Tyler Perry. Wow. Okay. She's the casting direct <laughs> uh -huh. assistant. And I'm just like, no, you don't know who can be what one day. So you have to, you have to treat people with respect. Yep. If you want to give it back to you. So I just thought that was powerful because, yeah, anybody, he treats everybody with respect, no matter what the position. And I think everybody should follow suit because, yeah, it's just yeah. human. It's just yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So I want to go back into the film. So Stephanie, who plays Sarah, she said that there was moments that was very challenging during filming this and just watching the trailer. I can see that. What was challenging for you guys apart from just getting into your character? Emotions. Uh, I know you said apart from just getting into the character. I think it is everything that the character is going through mm -hmm. once you're in the character. Right. Uh, because the way that he films it, it's it's as if you're experiencing it almost in real time and without necessarily a let up. So then you're getting, the emotions are building and building and building and it's, it's that much more true to you going through what someone in your position would go through in real life. Mm -hmm. And so that's, yeah. Were there times that you had to like pull something from your real life Definitely. into your character Definitely. to get that emotion? And if so, what was that that you pulled from your real life? for actor gems. Yeah. <laughs> I took a couple of acting classes back, you know, a few years back. You know, this broad, you know, giving away your secret sauce. Yeah, away your sauce, bro. Your jalapeno. But, um, look, this is, um, you know, something that I'm certain that uh, all of us do and, and the majority of all actors. Um, you take things like, for instance, this role, we're playing cult members mm -hmm. in this cult. We're not in cults. Why not? Shit. I'm kidding. <laughs> you know, like, what you do no, the research, yeah. you look at uh, uh, things that have been shot and you've seen prior from interviews to other movies, et cetera, you pull from that. And then you take instances from your life or people that you know. Mm -hmm. I'm not in a cult, but I know I know people that are addicted to drugs. I know right. people that are having struggles with uh, alcoholism or anything else. You take those situations from your real life and you can place them into the character, into the role, into the situation. And that gives it originality, it makes it genuine, it makes it real. And then that gives you those emotions and yeah. target that you need. 
Absolutely. So in 30 seconds, 30 to 45 seconds, tell us why we should go watch this series on BT Plus. Split that, because it's the best show ever. Yeah, we need to find out what happened to Ruth's daughter. Yes. Yeah, everybody wants to know what happened to Ruth's daughter. What'd you do with the baby? On, on March 19th. What happened? Oh, yeah. Where is Does baby? she get out? <laughs> Does she three save her? Three episodes for you. Three. Literally, three. literally, three. literally three. see. And you see, look, and you that see, like, show is... you see my beautiful cast, like you said, we are all talented, Super all fine. great, all amazing actors, and we have the most dynamic cast that you've ever seen. Mm -hmm. You've never seen a story Incredible like this on TV. Definitely. You haven't seen the side of Tyler Perry. Right, oh, this is a that's dark, I'm dark yeah. side of Tyler it's Perry that you have never seen before. Nail-biting, suspense, there like you you're going to be on the edge of your seat yeah. and wanting to see the next one. This is the next one. that he always has with their suspense attitude on top of it. 39 seconds. Right. Mm -hmm. All the <laughs> Just in time for coronavirus, lock yourself in your room, get ready, because it's going to drag you in, right? This is the cure. This is the cure. It's the cure, okay? Y'all said it. Yep. Blue there we are. Blue said it, y'all agree. We said tune in. March 19th. March 19th. Watch Ruthless. And be tuned in. Yeah. Set your alarms, you guys. All of them. Yeah. All of them. Exactly. Phone, uh, Alexa, you know, it's good. Okay. All right, thank you guys so much. Thank you guys are fantastic, so fun, Thanks. honestly, awesome. and fine as hell, okay? I gotta say one more time. <laughs> All right, hey guys, what's up? I'm here with the cast of Ruthless. It's coming out on BET Plus very soon. When is it coming out, you guys? March 19th. Y'all heard it, tune in. Three episodes. <laughs> Three episodes. Perfect.